Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and you are watching Reliable Roots. In today's video we are doing a bunch of fun winter activities with the kids. So I was positive that Punxsutawney Phil was not going to lead me astray, so that's kind of why this video is a little bit late, is that I was sure that we were going to have six more weeks of winter, but here in Virginia, it is already very much so spring. My daffodils are coming up, um, but I started filming this video about a month ago when it was actually winter, and the first thing that um, we love to do during a nice snowstorm is make snow cream, is that this has been a tradition for a few years. I grew up in Florida, so I never got to indulge in any kind of snow cream but my kids absolutely love it and so do I as always the recipe will be in the description box below but another fun thing that we did this year for the first time was make snow crystals and this is kind of one of those it could be an ornament or it could just be a fun science experiment but I found it offline and I've been wanting to make these for a while so I started off with some pipe cleaner and I just made a snowflake formation and then I gave some pipe cleaner to my kids and they just ended up making like little Balls. Now the science behind why the borax forms crystals on the pipe cleaner is a little bit above a kindergartner's level so I tried to kind of explain it but in the end we just ended up having fun. Now with our homeschool curriculum I try to do about one science experiment a week but at this age it's much more fun about having fun and just kind of enjoying learning than it is about actually figuring out why the borax sticks to the pipe cleaner. So that's kind of what we did here. After I made the pipe cleaner into a shape, I just wove some dental floss around it and suspended it by a pencil, making sure that it didn't touch the sides of the mason jar. And then I filled the jar up with boiling water. And I started off with just a little bit of borax. You're gonna add about three tablespoons per cup to the water and then stir, stir, stir until it dissolves. And keep adding borax until it's completely saturated to the point that no more will dissolve in it. And that's the exact amount that you you want to add in there so I'm not sure um, what the measurement is but I just kept adding borax until there was just a little bit in the bottom because it could not dissolve anymore and then I suspended the girls creations and let them sit overnight and the next morning we had these beautiful crystals and of course you want to be careful with the borax and hot water and dealing with children and that sort of thing For a little bit more added fun, you can always add food coloring to the water and make different colored crystals if you want to make blue or red or any kind of other crystals. We just went with the plain white crystals so that we could actually see them on the pipe cleaner. The next fun thing that we made was some play snow and this recipe is super easy. All it is is baking soda and hair conditioner and it smells really, really good and the girls had a whole lot of fun playing with it. It's just one of those sensory bin items that they really enjoyed many manipulating in their hand, and we even made a snowman out of it. This next recipe is the real reason why this video took me so long because I made rock crystals for the first time ever and this recipe takes about three weeks to make. It's kind of the same idea with the borax crystals except instead of borax you are using sugar and I'm making this sugar syrup and I just keep adding one cup of sugar at a time and dissolving and dissolving and dissolving until it can handle no more sugar in the liquid. And then I'm gonna let it set for just a little while to cool off and I'm gonna dip my sticks into some sugar so that the sugar will hold on to that and the ideal container to use is gonna be champagne flutes but I didn't have any I just had my wine glasses so I poured the mixture into my different colors of glasses and then I just suspended the popsicle sticks into those and after about three weeks it's ready to go that rock crystals have formed on the popsicle sticks and this is a recipe of enduring love. 
So it's kind of hard to get the rock crystals out. I ended up having to punch holes in the side of it to kind of like loosen the candy itself. And there was a lot of waste. So I probably will never make these again. I'll just buy them at the store. But it was a fun little recipe to make with my kids and a fun little science experiment. And of course, they really enjoyed it. So the next thing we did was three different ice experiments and the first two start out with putting a bunch of bottles of water into the freezer and setting the timer for two hours and ten minutes. Now this is slightly tricky because what you want to do is get the water to the point where it's freezing but it's not frozen. So a good way of telling that is take one of your bottles and smash it against the counter and if it turns to ice then you know it's ready to go. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually building ice and this was so much fun to make is that you just take an ice cube and you start slowly pouring the water on top of it and it's actually forming ice as it goes and the second experiment is kind of a fail it definitely wasn't like what I was hoping it would be but you are going to make ice from the tip of your finger and it's the same sort of idea is that the water is so close to being frozen but it's not quite there yet so if you add just a tiny little bit of ice it'll make the whole thing turn to ice so we tried this several times and it only worked the one time that you saw and our last science experiment is called fishing for ice so we just took some regular ice cubes and some regular yarn and we tried to catch the ice cubes with the yarn and it did not work out until we added the salt and the salt melted the ice just enough so that the yarn could stick to it and we were able to catch it with that so this was one that they both had fun with my preschooler did have a little bit more trouble than my kindergartner but we did have just so much fun with all of these science experiments and please be sure to leave me a comment below if you try any of them out and don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not already subscribed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye hi this is elvie welcome